Uh, first up, how are you? How's it going? Good, man. Really good. Yeah, thanks mm. for having me. So, bro, you're welcome to come in. You know, absolutely no problem at all. It's, it's odd to see you with a different hat on, you know, because it's yeah. normally you've got Tom bouncing around like <laughs> Zebedee beside you, but yeah. you're in here on your own and you've got leopard skin sort of... How on earth have you managed to yeah. do that with the hair? Do you know what? Amy, my, my wife, she watched a YouTube video and she said, I think I can... She's not a hairdresser, but she said, I, can do, I think we can do this. That's trust. Like, yeah, <laughs> that man. is trust. Yeah. So we got the peroxide out. Yes. And then, yeah, it, it, she's done an incredible job. It looks good. How did she, yeah. did she like paint the yeah, like exactly. leopard spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a paintbrush and then a bit of uh, just for men, black, just for <laughs> yeah. men. Job done. <laughs> Tell you what, that is proper trust and also the, the scope for things to go horribly wrong. Yeah, yeah. you got to go back into hiding if that goes wrong. I know, I know, man. It was a risk. But I, you know, I, I sort of, life's about risk. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit, a bit of a strange question, but have you ever had a proper hair disaster like that that's caused you some bother? Yeah, I remember like, I remember like a Victoria Wood moment. You remember that mad sort of fringe? <laughs> yeah, and it's of a bit of a weird like like yeah. shout on it at Radio X that people have like, who's that? But yeah, you know that Bob? Yes. Bad, like one yeah. of them. Like a ball cut. Oh, it's when you look in the mirror and you feel like you can well up, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. like you feel like you can go, oh, I'm going to go here. Oh, so I, yeah, I did that just skinned it. 1998, I went and cut my hair. Somebody said it'd be a great idea to get it that peroxide blonde. Kind of kind of like Gaza, which was a brave thing yeah, to man. do in Scotland at that time. And it just at went 95. ginger. Went ginger. Yeah, the, yeah. I did a, the same thing about 95 mm -hmm. and it went ginger. I went to the hairdressers and you know, I was only like 14. <laughs> so There's like, like a group of like, you know, beautiful girls and I took the hat off and they all just went, <laughs> you know, that like horrible. <laughs> I felt about that big man. I was like, yeah, yeah can you just make this blonde really blonde? Yeah. I remember my mum sitting there back, get yourself back down to that hairdressers. <laughs> and uh, they dyed it black, but it came back purple. Oh but wow! A bit like purple, as oh, in a man it. who's trying not to look grey purple. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> horrific, horrific. Was that to do with sick boy in the train spotting? It, it, it was exactly. Definitely was. Sick boy, was it? Definitely <laughs> was. Just walking around going, "Are you serious, Wentz?" <laughs> um, we were just talking about phones a minute ago, weren't we? In the old Instagram madness. Yes. And I'm, I'm quite interested to know your position on this, Serge, because you, 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 I think you're pretty. Qu you keep quite quiet on the old texts and communications, right? Yeah. Are yeah. you into all that carry on, and have you embraced all Instagram madness? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. I just, I just think if you like, it has to be interesting. I have to, you know, yeah. has to, you, if you're going to put anything out there, at least think about it, mm -hmm. you know. And if you approach it in that way, I think it's okay. It's just when it just becomes part of your daily duties, I just find that a bit sad that he's having a know. go at you, Gordon. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, that's sorry, mate. I mean, I don't know <laughs> what you do. I've got no yeah. idea. Yeah, but but it's I don't get garden. me wrong. I understand it. Like it's yeah. fine. But I just think, you know. Should subvert it away and to try and think of new ways of putting stuff out rather than because you've done a lot, haven't you, with the SLP? I've noticed yeah. that you've been a yeah, lot more yeah. on top of it with that massively. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to, though, right? Yeah, definitely. I think you do, so, don't you? You've got to be, yeah. you've got to run with it, haven't you? I'm too precious over it, though. Like, I can't let anything go out. Like, I overthink it. Like, right. it takes me three days to, like, you know, get a yeah. photo ready because like, I'm not sure about that. You should see Matt's Instagram. I bet it's phenomenal. Mm, it's, it's all right, isn't it? It's I've noticed it. some of the SLP stuff, like, yeah. the little teaser clips. Nice, it's quite, yeah. quite a nice. Just did it's that not like a full video, but it's yeah. just like a little hook thing. Yeah. yeah, man. It's pretty good. It looks good. I like it because I think it's at the swing in your garden as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've basically you've done it all. That. You haven't left the house. <laughs> He's done it all at home. I should point out, by the way, in case yeah. you don't know, the SLP is Sergio's solo project. SLP being Sergio Lorenzo Pizzorno, which I've said That's properly. Fine. You've nailed it. First yeah. time. Yeah. And, and we've had a year off from Kasabian pretty much, or yeah. it will be coming up for a year. That's right, yeah. And, and did you plan to do this or did it just happen, Serge? Well, we sort of discussed at the end of the touring that we'd have a year off. Mm -hmm. it felt the right time just to be quiet for a bit. So it was like now or never. And I had, you know, the few bits of music that I would never use. So I thought, well, I've got the start of something, so I may as well just do it. Now is now is the time. Because I remember some conversations years ago. I remember there was quite a lot of interest from hip hop characters about doing stuff for you. So the little yeah. Sims thing, I think, is brilliant, right? Yeah. She's a talent, isn't she? She is, yeah. She's phenomenal, yeah. Were there not a few people knocking on the door years ago, or did I imagine yeah, that? Yeah, well, we did, you know, we'd, we'd done work with like Black Alicious, and yeah. there's an LL Cool J collaboration circling around, which yeah. was kind of great. Yeah. But I didn't really, I felt disconnected to that because it was done in America, but with, you know, there's a, there's a few surprises on the album that I've mm. got to work with the artists. I was going to ask you as well, when it comes back around to Kasabian time, well, you've always done a bit where you do a sort of solo song or two. Mm. Do you think you'll throw an SLP track in there in the middle of it? Oh, no, no. I'd, I'd, keep yeah. them separate. They're different sports, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sports. I was going to ask, the, music's your first love, right? But sport's pretty close to it. 
yeah. Wimbledon at the moment. Have you, have you got back like, into your tennis? I just like it on the telly. Like I, I don't. I, I feel comforted by the green. There's something about having sport on the telly. I, I, you know, even yeah. if I'm not engaged with it, I just like to, the noise, the green. I like it on. It's I mean, there's magic, isn't it, of Wimbledon? Mm. I was there the other day, right, and there was a, an umpire who had the, the best voice ever. So it was just like, do you, sir? <laughs> like Barry White or something <laughs> like that. But I think it was, it was taken away from the game because everyone was waiting for him to say, advantage. <laughs> it's bizarre. Mad. I think I'm going to the final, the women's final, I think. Oh, yeah? I think so. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, mate, this guy, do you want to go? I was like, I, can I go? I was like, yeah, it's just fine. I'll tell you what. I don't know what you think, Matt. Is it okay? Yeah, I'd go. I yeah. was into the women's football. Yeah, recently. it's great I like watching it? that. Yeah, yeah and I said, you mentioned we're talking about football there briefly. Your Mrs. Amy, my wife reminded me of this the other day. She was a brilliant footballer. Yeah, still, I don't know if she still is. Still no, plays, she is. She still yeah. does a bit in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she had England trials. I went, I went with her. We're only kids, man. Like she's been, but I don't know, 15, 16 or something. That's mad because we're just talking. Like, Matt got really into the Women's World Cup. We were all enjoying it. Great, it? it was wicked for all the right reasons, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought it was good because it was yeah. like you know, like that American woman celebrated doing a little cup of tea. Yeah, I like that. Did you? I, yeah, I like that. that and it was brilliant. like they would judge. I, I thought what was a bit sexist about it was like the like as if well the women shouldn't be doing stuff like that as if they're meant to it's you know a great celebration. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. there was a bit of needle in it as well, wasn't there? Yeah, great. What position did Amy play? Because she centre mid. Yes. So in the family five aside then, because Lucci was a player, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your youngest. Yeah, I mean the. Yeah. My oldest boy wants to be a magician, so I don't know if oh, he does. Yes. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> what a combination. He wants, to, he wants to write a horror and he wants to be a magician. Do both, combine them. Yeah, so he might have to just start watch on the sidelines. And Lucio, I suppose, granddad will be round with the toe yeah. taps. He'll be toe tapping in his Copa Mondial. Richard Pizzorno, by the way, what a footballer <laughs> yeah, he is. Good. He was good. So yeah, any kind of Sabian gig I've ever been to, I end up speaking for about two and a half hours to your dad about football. Yeah. He loves it, doesn't he? Does really does, man. But yeah. weren't you? Didn't you like trial was, for people? I was. I mean, I think like probably like thirteen. I made the decision to, you know, music was kind of. I got a sampler, and that changed everything. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, but but I was pretty good. But I don't know. I wasn't for me. That like the. It, I've struggled with the like the you know footballers and hard people to hang around with. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a few lurking around your yeah, life as well. <laughs> You know what I mean? I was like yeah. trying to talk to them about, you know, Jodorowsky and they weren't into it really. <laughs> Crouchy would be. Yeah, Crouchy would be. No, he's not a footballer though. He's, he's not special, isn't he? Well, he's an entertainment yeah, legend now, isn't he? <laughs> he's a proper beauty. And Serge, we just mentioned Harry Maguire earlier on, possibly moving for 75 million quid. Would you shed a tear if he left Leicester? I mean, it'd be a shame, but I think that's a lot of money. You've got to take that's, it, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just one little word on Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, phenomenal. Do you like him? Yeah, I think he's going to be great. Just think about that side of Glasgow that's listening to this, Serge. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, he's. I think he's going to. You know, I, there's so many jokes. I'm not going to say. I've got no, so no. many jokes, and I just want to be respectful to my new manager because <laughs> I want him to like me. Do you know what I mean? But I've got so many. Yeah. In the in, in yeah, I can't. It's not. Say. There's no. There's some not the time. No, um, Serge, we'd like to ask you a question that Matt came up with this last time we were on. I can't remember why it came up, but we were talking about the most expensive mistakes we've ever made, right? Now, obviously, I've made <laughs> quite a few special ones in newspapers. I can't remember. Did you make an expensive mistake? I don't think I've ever had enough money to make an expensive mistake. <laughs> to be honest, I was gonna, yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't really. I don't know. Because we were talking about, um, you know, like being in the studio and making a decision. I remember there's a great Fleetwood Mac story, isn't there, where they were mucking about with microphones and they ended up spending six months trying to get the right sound from a drum. And in the end, they're like, let's just go back to the first one yeah, six yeah. months later. Because you can get in a bit of a rabbit hole in the studio, I'd imagine. I love the like, rabbit hole, man. This, al this kind of project feels like the rabbit hole. It feels like, like, you know, I've been afforded the sort of, I can go and explore down there and see what's yeah. down there yeah. and then bring back some treasures. I suppose that's that is the fun of having a bit of time off because you can just go and see where it where it takes it's you. It's been it's been amazing, man. It really has. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about one, another thing that I've always wondered. This right. I remember speaking to Chris Martin years ago, and um, we were talking about where somebody has to just tap you on the shoulder and say this is getting carried away. And the moment it happened to him was where he suggested having a train going around Wembley Arena with him singing on the back of it. Oh my. God. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. Give a signal. Oh dear. Singing yellow. Has there been a moment where you've gone? Lads, rein it in. Got an idea here, right? I'm going to have yeah. a massive bat cape on, and I'm going to come down a death slide onto the stage. Yeah, well, there was, a, <laughs> there was, 
there was talk when we when we had Lion Glass though to get like a so like a, a like a cape, but like you know like a fifty foot long one, yeah. and then sort of stand on a square plate and it just rise up. So the cape would disguise the, you know, the riser. The, the riser. Yeah. So then you just sort of get higher and higher, and, and the cape would get longer and longer. <laughs> and you're th- thinking to yourself, yeah, that's probably uh, that's I'd, brilliant. It'd be that's like Vic w- Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. You hold your fist up like a superhero. It's exactly. Just, so it's like, wow, what is yeah? You know, but you know. the problem is you'd have to have two because it'd have to be Tom and one. Yeah, I know exactly. You'd have to go on it together. <laughs> you don't know the other one. I've got a message here. Uh, what has Serge got planned for his solo tour? He loved this person says they love the tune. Mobile number two six two. Um, I'm sort of in the early days of putting it all together. But if you imagine you, it's the end of the night and you're walking home with all your pals and it's four in the morning and you see a little doorway. And there's sort of like light emanating from beneath and there's a bouncer there and he won't let you in unless you've got the password and someone, oh, I've got it, I know what it is, yeah. you know, only geese fly me west of <laughs> Romania. And then you get in and then you open the door and, it, and you're in a whole world of like it, euphoria and it's like, it feels a bit like David Lynch film, but, but it's, you feel safe and it it's, welcomes all, everyone into this party. That's what it's going to be like. That's beautiful. There's the description. <laughs> Sounds phenomenal. And that will be in September or October time. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of time to think about it. We should point out, so Jay Sharrick's playing drums for you. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah and, he's, and he's a, a beautiful fella. Who else do you have in the band? Do you have a, the rest of a band? Or? Yeah, we're, I'm going to sort of keep it. I'm keeping some surprises and uh, keeping it small. But it won't, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I do, that. that you know, I'm never going to compete. We're pretty good live, Kasabian. So I'm, that, that's yeah, that's that. This is something else. And then Kasabian back next year for the 50th anniversary of Glastonbury. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> That'll oh, do us. I can maybe do, do the cape thing there, man. <laughs> yes, finally. Thank you so much Thanks, for coming in. Bro, you're it's right. Great to see you. I'm just uh, overcome. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the cape. It's the cape. It's done cape. me. <laughs> the cape has done me. Radio X.